Well, hello everyone. And if I'm very wondering why I'm showing you this incredible dish rack, well, it's to hang my anyo at the cottage when I'm done doing all my cleaning, using my fibers so that I can hang them in the sun. It's like a little hammock for my little fibers. So this weekend I used a lot of the kitchen fibers, but I also used my outdoor and my uh, kitchen wand scrubby um, on the handle there. So I used those. So I'm gonna tell you that what I did with this is I have an air cast and my air cast was filthy dirty. It actually used to be my daughter's and it was so dirty. So I thought, hmm, how do I wash this boot? Because it's fiber, it's fabric I should say. And the fabric is uh, like a, I don't know what it's made of, but the boot on the outside is a plastic, hard plastic, right? So I used my kitchen wand or the barbecue wand if you say and the scrubby, which is that small scrubby there. And I washed my boot and the liner. I took it all apart and cleaned it completely perfect. And here's the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have this amazing collection of concentrated soaps. And these are the only soaps basically that Anyo has to clean. The only thing not here is the marble paste. And that's for uh, stainless steel, silver metals, but I didn't use any of that this weekend. So this weekend, I had the honor of using the Enyo Calcium Dissolver, the Orange Blossom. I did not use the dishwashing liquid, but I just wanted to put it there in that collection just to show you all, because I don't have a dishwasher here. I wash everything by hand, even at home. And then my laundry soap. So these soaps are super concentrated. I'm going to explain to you the difference. So this one here, which is the Calcium Dissolver, it is called citrus now and it is the exact same thing except they just changed the name of it but this breaks down calcium buildup and we have hard water here so this is what i need for my showers to clean my taps as well as my kettle my curry my pots because i get that film at the bottom that white residue so this is what i use and it is amazing to remove rust so i use that this weekend and you can see here in my little bowl i've got a bowl and it looks like i've got a little tiny film at the bottom well that right there is the minerals, the calcium and the rust that are in my water here at the cottage. And what I used is, now if we go back down here again, what I used is I used the scrubby, which is this one here, and I used the wand again, but you can see the fiber has a little bit of orangey on it because what I did is I cleaned cast iron and it was completely rusted because I purposely left it to go so that I could do a video. So I have a video of that as well. So the scrubby here is what I used. But after I was done using that, I actually used my calcium dissolver, like I was saying, which is this one here. I added a few drops in some water and allow it to soak overnight. And this is what I get from that. So the other thing that's so amazing about any soaps is that they're plant-based, they're completely safe, and they won't damage my environment. So now once, now that I'm done, I'm able to pour this out and put it back into nature because again, there's zero harsh chemicals in here. So it will not damage my beautiful lake here in Lake Erie. So I dump that out just to show you how it's safe. You can use this again, like I said, your kettles, your curries, your pots, your pans, your um, build up on your uh, shower, uh, sinks for rust even. This is amazing. So that's what I use this for. Next what I did is I also washed out my scrubby which had, see down there, it had so much dirt on my cast iron because like I said I purposely let it go so that I could do a really good demo to show everyone how to clean cast iron because cast iron you need to use water only. If you use water only your cast iron will never rust. If it is rusted it's because you either added soaps to it or let it wet left it wet and you must dry behind so again annual fiber technology is genius because the fibers are meant to be hard worker soft pick up or dry behind so that's what i used at my cottage but i wanted to show you how what i did to clean my fibers out is as i was using i was soaking them in some water to rinse them away but once i was done i washed them with hot water 
and here is where these soaps come in. So I'm going to move this out because this one again, like I said, we didn't use because I don't have a dishwasher. So the two soaps here are the lavender soap and the orange blossom soap. So the difference between the orange blossom soap and the lavender soap is two things. One, this is a concentrated orange base. And what does orange do? It removes oils, it removes dirt, and it odors as well. So I use that also as a pre-treat when I'm doing my laundry. But in this case, for the kitchen fibers, because the kitchen fibers get really oily and um, soaked in oils, especially if you're making bacon and stuff, which is what I did this weekend. So hot water with this, and you put a few drops on your fiber, and you rinse it away, and this is what you get here. So. After that, I followed behind and I laundered them. So I actually laundered them by hand here because again, I don't have a laundry machine. So I did a second wash in another container using hot water and a drop or two of the concentrated laundry liquid. It's super concentrated and you don't need a lot. So I was able to wash all of those fibers there down there with maybe only two or three drops of the laundry liquid hot water but I also use fresh hot water from home not from here because again the water here has a lot of minerals and it will then get trapped and stayed into my fibers if you feel that you need to again like step number one go ahead and use the calcium dissolver because the calcium will take out any iron or minerals that are left in your kitchen fibers or other fibers so now I want to show you again how incredible and you soaps are because it's really about the fiber technology and not needing soaps but i will now be able to pour this into my environment and all of the rust that was in my pot my, my cast iron i should say that i removed i can dump it right back into my 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 uh, backyard see here see that this is all the rust that i took off by using the scrubby I didn't use any soaps. I really only used salt to remove the rest because I allowed the rest to, to build up so that I could do a really good demo. So I will add the link as well to the YouTube video that I did with the removal of the iron on the, um, the cast iron. So there we go. So I'm going to put this back in because there's zero chemicals in here. Pour this back out and protect my environment because this beautiful land we have, this beautiful property is on an amazing lake and the last thing I wanna do is put chemicals down my drain. Have a great day everyone.